I've learned that I am brave. Um, you can imagine mm. in the middle of a health pandemic to be a woman in beer. I have had many tough conversations. Um, and I, I've really come to appreciate my voice. I think to be a leader, you have to stand for something, believe in something and inspire your team to be as brave as you are. Um, and I've also learned that it's okay to be vulnerable and ask for help. Um, Usisingi he was saying that, you know, sometimes you can't do it all alone. And some of the women on this call have been uh, support structures to me in many ways. So I've learned that it's so okay to ask for help. Um, I, I had to be one of those women who had to multitask quite a bit. By day, I was dealing with uh, value chain and industry and business. By night, I was homeschooling. I was planning for dinners. And um, just that ability to multitask uh, made it necessary for me to make sure that I surround myself with a very, very strong support uh, system. I think the other thing I learned about uh, myself and the many women um, whom I've worked with, and I think uh, Usi Stimbala touched on it so, so well, is that we are so resilient. Um, so many things have happened. I mean, we've been dealing with death. We've been dealing with changes to our family lives as finances change, as responsibilities change, and we just keep evolving and adapting. Um, and that resilience is something that I think we need to really nurture. Um, I think this world is super volatile. We never know, and especially, especially in our country, we never know what each day brings. Um, and I think resilience has taught me is, what resilience has taught me is to, to really, really be firm and believe in yourself and you will weather the storm. You, you've got people around you, you're brave enough to, to do what needs to be done and uh, things will come right in time. And I think these are some of the characteristics we need in leaders um, and in women leaders in the country today. Mm -hmm.